guys doing? Thank you for tuning into my channel. Today I'm coming to you all to show you how I do my braid out on my short natural hair. If you're interested in seeing how I accomplish this look, please stay tuned. Okay, so I'm starting off on freshly washed hair that has been air dried and I am using the curls line for the very first time. It is their leave-in conditioner as well as their blueberry twist and shout cream. I was very interested in seeing how this product works so I picked up the sample size and I said hey let's give it a try. So to start I spritz my hair with water to waken my hair back up. Secondly, I apply my leave-in conditioner and you guys, this stuff is so soft and good. It's like amazing. Next, I go ahead and clip away a section of my hair and I apply the twist and shout cream, which smells awesome as well. I make sure I divide the section again and then I go ahead and get started with the braid. Now, depending on how long or short your hair is, you can see if you want it to be a smaller section or a bigger section, but since my hair is tapered on the side, this is what I'm starting, ugh, deciding to go with. <laughs> so, I'm also using my oil mixture, which I will be selling soon, to seal in all that goodness. So for this part of the video, I just zoomed in because some people don't know how to braid that well. So I decided to try to do a close up and I'm still kind of speeding along because I don't want this to be a long video. I already have a braid out um, tutorial on my page. That's just when my hair was a little longer. So now my hair is shorter. I said, hey, why not make a second one? So once you rub in all your products, you're going to take three strands of hair and you're just going to cross them into each other. I will slow down the clip to show you how I do that again in slow motion. Again, you know, apply your products, separate it, put your oil in there, and then piece by piece you're going to cross and keep crossing each separate strand into the next one until you get down to the bottom and then you're going to twist the end to secure it. And that's pretty much it. A few days later and I could not wait to take out the <laughs> sides on camera I took them down and I just left the top parts for you all to see the definition that the twist and shout cream gave me I'm really impressed with this product um, I really see why there was such a rave online when this product first came out all the hair guru girls were trying this stuff out and I must say that it is really really amazing um, it tells you to use it on wet hair, I use it on dry hair, so I guess next time I'll actually follow instructions. <laughs> but it, to me it still came out pretty good even though I did it on dry hair, but I definitely will be posting a picture online in the future when I use it on damp hair. So make sure you're following me on my social media pages if you're interested in seeing that. So I'm going to take the rest of this down and fluff it out with a pick. And um, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.